Hey bass connoisseurs, I'm standing here with this Super J4 from Dingwall, Canadian made and the color is gun metal gray. Um, this is Dingwall's take on a more traditional bass uh, and I say that with multi scales and fan frets. Um, but the sound of it is uh, more what you know of uh, some of the classics even though that you can say this bass has its own sound in its own right. Uh, I think that's the way to put it in a, a danglish way, I think. <laughs> It's uh, not as long scaled as the combustions. Uh, it's uh, it, the G string is uh, 32 inch and the E string is 34.25, I think, um, which actually means it's a bit short scale on G string and a little longer than normal on on the E string. Very balanced. Um, uh, the weight of it as well is uh, 3.5 kilo and it has an alder body and a wenge neck and a wenge fingerboard um, which makes it very solid and uh, the sound of that combination of alder and wenge is um, very fast uh, has a very nice low end uh, a, um, and a, a little bit of high mid uh, attack This Super J is a passive bass, meaning no preamp. Uh, the knobs are volume, pickup selector, and tone. We've chosen to get uh, Dingwall's own uh, Neodymium pickups in to give uh, more points to it uh, to get in the realm of the Dingwall sound. Uh, you could also do El Nikos, but in my honest opinion, this works really well. Um, you can select the pickups config with the knob here. Uh, you have four position and which makes it a bridge and bridge middle, kind of music manish, uh, bridge neck, jazz, and then uh, P bass, neck. Uh, I don't think it's fair to say that uh, this is a clone base. It's not a clone base at all. It's a Super J uh, of Dingwall in, in its own right, for sure. And um, I dig it very much. And I guess someone in the world will dig it as well. Hey, peace out, take care. Back to the groove, as you know, Better do that. <laughs> Take care.